and Drasasi. Check it. I'm an average guy, just got off work at a reasonable time, feeling pretty good because my boss just paid me. But let me tell you, my commute is crazy. It's almost like I'm the only one who knows that red means stop and green means go and yellow does not mean accelerate. Just how many people do I need to educate? Ugh, and it's only six blocks, but at every intersection I encounter gridlock because people don't have good habits, man, and they're always causing a traffic jam. The roads are more congested than me when I had the flu. Every second is a scramble to figure out what to do. I want to catch the body and dong with my ama, but you're blocking the way to pick your kids up from school. You're parked in the middle of the street. That's real inconvenient. Why can't you be like that guy and ride a motorcycle? At least you take up less space. Oh, wow. Finally, you see me? On the road, you barely even notice I'm there. The other day, I was on my way to the eye doctor, but then you merged right into my lane. I've had enough. Car drivers are inconsistent. I can never guess your intentions. You'll suddenly turn with no warning. Driver's etiquette non-existent. You never give enough response time to hit the brakes. One time I flew off my bike and I hit my face on the curb. And yes, it really hurt, but I still had to get up and show up to work. Each second on the road gets tougher and tougher. I'm bumper to bumper. Everybody's trying to cut me, rush me. One wrong move, they'll crush me. But you? You got the comfort of the car with the heated seat pads. You can listen to a podcast on your iPad. And I get that. Everybody has places they need to be at. But me and the guy next to me were basically touching kneecaps. I'm just saying, you guys have it easy. Cars have motion sensors, yet you still lack judgment. It really makes you wonder what you're doing behind those tinted windows. No comment. Okay, okay. Well, if you can't handle the pressure, maybe you shouldn't even be on the road. How about you try walking for a change? Walking? You mean like that guy over there? Hey. Don't drag me into this. I'm just minding my own business. But quite frankly, both of you are the problem. You think walking is safer? Well, it's not, because no vehicle seems to know what to stop. My mama always told me to look both ways three times before I even think to cross. Y'all always jump on the slightest chance to make a turn before the light turns red. I know that the traffic lights aren't in sync, but you still need a yield for pedestrians. And the same applies when it's a green light. It's not like I can magically disappear out of sight. And may I just say, this pedestrian walkway, it might as well not be there. I'm spiteful towards the motorcycles and the bicycles that fight for my right of way. I despise when they ride on the sidewalk. That behavior drives me insane. No pun intended. Please be attentive. The countdown still has at least five seconds. Oh, no, I might not make it to the other side in time. I need to start running. Oh, the cars. Oh, what? Ooh. Okay, but we both agree that bus drivers are the worst, right? Oh, don't get me started. 